What is going on guys? It is Heidi Z or HC Game coming back to you with another YouTube video. I'm here with Athena. And we're here for cooking with Athena and Heidi. We are doing I guess you could say this is the second episode of our Hello Freshes that we've got in one week. Cause most times it's like we get one and then we do it. But this is our second Hello Fresh. We did one last night, which you're gonna probably be seeing the week before this one. Um it's technically super good. Oh, last night? Hella good. Yeah. The last night was the, the bip and bap bomb.com. Super good. We I definitely want to, I want to try to do that on our own. It shouldn't be that expensive. Yeah, it shouldn't be expensive at all, especially since ground pork is not expensive at all. Mm -hmm. Um, But let's go ahead and. We could even do it with like ground turkey too. We could. Ground turkey is not expensive. At we all. could. Um. Let's go ahead and get into the ingredients. Today it is hole punch, so you're not gonna see the full name, but it's crispy Parmesan chicken. We got a binder. For yeah, the... we got a binder and we put all of our HelloFresh um, recipes in there. We're making a cookbook. So, that's to come. The one you just saw is actually what we're gonna be making tomorrow because apparently it's supposed to be sunny outside. Um, so that's why we're doing that one. But, let's go ahead and we're gonna go over the ingredients. First things first, we have our very healthy vegetables. We have green beans. Okay, Randy Santel. Q Randy Santel. We have a lemon. I had a notification. We have it's on like Parmesan cheese. That's literally what it says on there. Parmesan cheese. We have chicken breasts. These are boneless skinless chicken breasts. We have Israeli couscous, which we've actually had the couscous with HelloFresh meals before. And it's really good. This is the third time we've had it. But this is a different us. rendition of it, I yeah. think. Um, then we also have thick scallions. These are probably the thickest scallions I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. The, like this, this is thicker. This one right here is thicker than my thumb. And I have big thumbs. I have big hands in general. Um, I can grip a basketball and like... Probably bonk somebody in the head with it, but anyways. We also have panko breadcrumbs. We have smoked paprika. Sour cream. And we have garlic herb butter, which I love anything garlic, so I'm excited for that. I think every single recipe we've done has had garlic in it oh, somewhere. Oh, it makes me so happy. Everything tastes better with garlic. Sorry, vampires. Bay Vi is running around with her yama. She just stepped going nuts. Um, yeah, so the prep time for this is 10 minutes, but you know us. We take longer than that. Um, the total is 40 minutes, and apparently this one's only 670 calories, which some people may say is a lot, but I think that's actually pretty good, wouldn't you say, based off of the other stuff that we eat? She's just asking about the food. Oh. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to just go over the prep time here real quick. And this one I think is going to be one of our favorites because we're using a lot less utensils in the kitchen. Um, we're using the oven, we're using a baking sheet and we're using a medium sized pot. Um, sure we have knives and other things we have to use as well, but that's actually really good. Especially considering, what did we use last night? We used a lot of stuff last night, but not too not much. Really. It was like, it was the pan what? that we just used the pan. Yeah, we used times. the pan three times, three or four times. And then the pot that we're using again tonight for the rice. Yeah. But other than that, those were the only like big dish and then we just used like little plates to put stuff on. But. Yeah, so for our prep, which is step number one, we're going to preheat the oven to 425. You want to go ahead and do that? Um, we're going to bring a medium pot of salted water to a boil. Which, um, it doesn't tell us how much water to put in the pot, but because we've made the couscous before, we know that half a cup goes with three-fourths cup of water. So, Athena has that already put in the pot, and we're going to start that right now. And we're going to wash and dry all our produce, and we're going to trim and thinly and slice our scallions, separating the whites from the greens as usual, and then we're going to zest and quarter the lemon. So... Zest first, then quarter. Yes. Um, Can I get a plate? The plates we have are the big ones. 
Oh, yeah, you have all the little plates. We used a lot of our little plates last night because we cut a lot of stuff. Um, so, I honestly don't think we have anything to do with the green beans other than wash them. It doesn't say on here say to cut them to or cut them or because I think that they're they're already trimmed. Like the ends are trimmed off and everything for us already. Okay. Yeah, that if you ever have the opportunity and again we're not sponsored or anything. This is um Athena's mom gets the Hello Fresh and like the other ones we've done before, my parents get it. So my parents have given us meals that they knew they weren't gonna be able to eat in a week. Um which you may think is super weird, but my parents are super busy, they're always on the go. My grandpa's in a skilled nursing facility, so they always tend to go out to dinner, especially if they're gonna go see him. Um, and, you know, that's why sometimes my mom will give us meals, but we're actually switching off weeks with Athena's mom and her sister. So yeah, it's just every three weeks we're gonna be getting these, which is actually really, really good for the channel because we get that content to be able to put out for you guys. I'm gonna use a slightly larger knife because these are slightly larger. Um, Do you want one of the ones in the... That's too large. Do you want the blue one? That's too large as well. Is there a smaller one in there? I'll use that one. I'm not really a big knife person. Like, I like collecting knives, but when it comes to using knives in the kitchen, it just, I get a lot of anxiety with it. Um, sharp objects really just give me anxiety in general, um, which if you guys would like to know a little bit more about that, you can always ask for me to do a video and I'd be more than happy to kind of go over it with you guys. And I think what we're gonna start doing in these videos, because a lot of the times we just talk about random things, um, I think we're gonna kind of do it and just like talk about random things that are going on for us or in the world and like we'll tell you guys the recipes as we're going you'll see the products you'll see what we're doing I know we want to get a tripod to where we can have you guys be able to look at everything better than kind of um, you know what we have now but you know this is this is what we're working with you're in the cabinet um, so we're separating these honestly I'm gonna be a pro at cutting scallions Scallions like Everything has scallions. And we're just like, that's cool, fam. We're yeah, here for not it. Mad not mad at all. The scallions and the one, the dipping bath, where they soaked in that white vinegar. Oh, yeah, that was super good. You, like, used the white vinegar as, like, a sauce. That was really good. That was good. If you guys have not seen that episode of cooking with Athena and Heidi we highly recommend it and you know we highly recommend you try some of these recipes that we make because we're not gonna lie to you and say something good if we don't think it's good um, and we do go out like we were talking about in the beginning about how we want to make the dip and bath ourselves we do we have done that with other recipes yeah we have done that with other recipes we've done it with the zucchini numerous times yeah. <laughs> What do I do once the water is boiling? Um, Read on the direction. Give me a second. I gotta move some stuff so I can. Um, um, once water is boiling, add couscous to pot. Cook tender until tender, six to eight minutes. Drain thoroughly. Melt garlic, herb, butter in empty pot. Herb. Did I say herb? Yes. Oh, sorry. Um, an empty pot over medium heat. Add scallions, scallion whites, and cook until softened. One minute. Return That's cooked too, couscous. Too much stuff. Just add the couscous and cook it. Um, but yeah, we do like go out and make these things. This is a thick scallion. I'm just. Like, I know I've already said it numerous times, but it's thick. Like, she's thick. Um, but like, 
Because I know that I'm one of those people that I can't just sit here and talk to you guys about, like, what I'm doing with the food. So that's why I'll talk about other stuff. Like, if you saw last week's where we did the Bip and Bap, I was talking to Athena about LeBron James and his son. Um, but I just, I think it's more of something that we'll do these videos and we'll cook for you guys. We'll show you our process, show you what we're doing, and kind of walk you through these recipes. And, you know, we'll get better over time with cooking and, you know, everything. But along with that, we also want to talk to you guys and make you guys feel like you're not just watching some weird tutorial. Because if you guys wanted to watch a tutorial where people don't talk, you would just go to the Tasty channel or something. No offense to Tasty, I'm just saying. That's usually most of the videos over on that channel. Or if you wanted to listen to somebody who talks about what they know, like, and they know what they're doing, you'd go watch Binging with Bam Babish, who I absolutely love. I love to watch his videos. Um, so if you're here watching us, we thank you. Because you know that we're, in a sense, a shit show. So, okay. so um, the second step, I'm going to work on that while Heidi finishes the scallions. So that's just mixing stuff in a bowl. And then by that time, Heidi should be ready to move on to the next step with us. So it says in a small bowl, combine the panko, parmesan, and paprika. And that's where we're going to start. Because you have to combine a bunch of other stuff in it too. But we're going to start with the panko, parmesan, and paprika in this bowl. And I'm just using like a regular bowl that we like eat out of. Um, because it said we have to add oil to it too and it's hard to clean out of the plastic dishes so violet k get out of my kitchen yeah um i don't know if the video with violet picking my outfits for a week has gone up yet at this point i think it would have isn't it going up next friday for us yeah so, it would have already been out for you guys by this point, because this is going up sometime in February, and we're in January. Um, highly recommend going and looking at that video, checking it out. Viley, Viley, Violet, Violet, <laughs> Violet worked very, very hard. Um, she's giving me a look. She's like, Ma, do you forget my name? Um, but she worked very hard picking this outfit that I'm wearing today for you guys. Um, and I think she actually did a very good job. If you want to know more about that. Yeah, I think when I cried yesterday and it was stinging, it was from the scallions. Because it's like, like I, it usually does not bother me, but it's like super bug in my eyes right now. Um, um, so, this is a large drizzle with olive oil, but I'm going to read if it actually tells me how much olive oil. No? Okay. It just says a large drizzle of olive oil. And a pinch of salt and pepper. So, let me get the olive oil and the salt and pepper. Alrighty. So, we're getting all the green parts of our scallions. Jesus Christ. My eyes. Um, also, my eyes have just been more sensitive than usual lately. Um, olive oil. Violet, move. Scallion down. Okay, so I put everything in here. We need to fill this back up with more of your dad's stuff. Okay. Where did you drop it? Yeah, I think it went under here. Yeah, you look at our olive oil thing and you may think, oh, it's just generic brand. No, we put my dad's works olive oil in there because the olive oil that we have for my dad's work is in like boxes like with spouts on it it's like a sampler type thing I like okay get out from under my feet please um, so that's um, that's why we, we just put it in the the big bottle so it's easier for us to um, 
you know, pour it because otherwise we'd be picking up the box or moving what we need to put the olive oil in under the box and it's just a hassle. Um, so. I'm mixing up this mixture yeah. of the Parmesan panko um, paprika and um, the olive oil and the salt and pepper. I don't think I took that long on the prep this time. Well, the only thing we really had to do was... You want to rinse the green beans? Yeah, I'll rinse those. Where are they at? Behind the... I'll show you guys this in a second. I'm just finishing... Um... I'm going to... And this looks exactly like what the picture is showing us, like the color and everything. Doesn't it? Maybe? Yeah. Does it look the same? Yeah, it does. So, my finger. this is what it looks like. I almost grated my finger. This is what it looks like. This is the Parmesan Panko smoked paprika the olive oil and the salt and pepper this is what's gonna be like the breading on the chicken and if you guys were wondering what i was doing with the green beans we want to wash them but we don't want to have to use our strainer so i just poked some holes in the bottom of this bag to make it like its own strainer so i'm just going to put the water in the top of it so we can go ahead and I think I've ever thought of. Ever. The couscous is done, so I just have this small wifel. It's smaller than the gray one, so that's what I'm going to use this one. But I need to use that pot for something else. The, I don't know, I don't care I remember. The um, so the I'm going to put the couscous in here. So I got the green beans all clean. Violet, can you get out of the kitchen, please? We're gonna be just talking to you guys, everything like that. Why does the chicken look white? Because you put sour cream on it. Oh! Oh, so that's what's kind of making the mm -hmm. mixture stick to it. That's cool. Yeah. Again, do I? I don't think so. What? I don't think I need this knife again. Can I put the green beans on their side? Read the instructions. Alrighty. Actually, can you finish? You can put the green beans in the sink. And can you finish? Do you need step by step? Okay. Step two is where I was. Okay. So mixture. you're going to need to... I already did the mixture. I'm going to go ahead and pat the chicken for you then. I'll cut it open. I only moved on to the couscous because it was done. Yeah. What side do you want me to do that on? Just move everything. Huh? Move everything to the other side. Because I don't know, but I just got a spoon and kind of took it off the bottom. It's all cooked. So. All right, I'm gonna start working on the chicken for you guys. So I'm just gonna set the couscous. This is how it looks in a bowl. I'm gonna set it in the microwave. Let it stay warm. I don't 
don't know what we're going to be doing with it. I'm going to keep this spoon just in case I need it. So, in that same pot that we just had the couscous, we're going to melt this butter. Um, and then we're going to cook the scallion whites in it. And then put the couscous back in it and stir it together. So we are going to put the couscous back in. So I'm just going to put the butter in this pot. My legs get out. It's very hard, but it was in the fridge. So. So with the chicken, I'm going to need some paper towels, just going to take a bunch. So what I'm going to be doing now guys is I'm going to be patting dry the chicken. Um, with paper towels. Because that is what it's telling me to do. First I'm going to throw away these things. And excuse me for the butter. <laughs> I'm going to take the scallion whites too. Because this is what it's going to cook in the butter. And then you can have that spot for the chicken. Oh. That's so good. And we just throw our like our garbage and scraps and stuff in, in the, the bag. bag that everything comes in. So we just throw away the bag and we're done. Yeah. If anyone was ever wondering about that. Uh, I need the... I'm going to just put the chicken on here. That should fit over the sink. If you... No, no, no. This way. Oh. As long as you're not like... Okay. Well, I have the chicken in the sink though. So I need it. Okay. I'm going to hold it over the sink so I don't get the gunk. Okay, I was just saying. Okay. But if you need it, like if you need the counter, just put that on the sink so then you can still. And I'm just kind of picking up the chicken with my hand. Which, yes, I've washed my hands and then I'll wash my hands again after. Uh, and I'm just kind of patting it on this paper towel. I'll do that to both sides of the chicken just to make sure that we get it all dry and well not dry but like padded and not slimy how's that look good yeah where when we put it what side doesn't matter. I'm gonna just set it right there. And you cook the chicken and the green beans in the oven together, which is bomb. We appreciate. How long do they cook them? However long the instructions say. I'll most likely just keep the. After I put the couscous back in here, I'll just put it on the back of the stove. Like, not on or anything, just in the pan. So it stays warm. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and grab this second piece of chicken breast. We're gonna do the same thing that we did with the other one. With this one. And I know you guys can't smell anything we're making in these videos, but I would just like to say that it smells super good in here right now. This one, they've all been pretty easy too, except that first one that we did. The one with the fish? Yeah. Yeah. It was really good. It was just, we didn't have a lot of the... Very time consuming and a lot of dishes and... Pans and Kind stuff. of confusing to follow. Yeah. We didn't have a lot of the pans it needed. How's this one look, babe? And these are some pretty good sized pieces of... Yeah, they look... The meat doesn't look like a lot of meat when it's packaged, but I think it's because it's like vacuum sealed. And 
and like they're folded up when they're in there. So I'm gonna just throw this in the regular trash. I think I'm gonna add it to the crisp in a second. So the scallions have been, the scallion whites have been cooking, so I'm gonna add the couscous back in with the scallion whites. And I am washing my hands. you up and show you what we got going on here. And I honestly got the perfect amount of paper towels to like wash my hands and everything with. So. so let's bring you guys down here. And I'm this is our here. large I'll bring them over to you in a second. Our large cooking, like baking sheet. And those chicken are taking up good half of it. I'm coming to you. Um, so. This is the couscous. It was mixed with the butter and the scallions. And I'm just gonna set it on the back of the stove. Yeah. While everything else finishes cooking. But that chicken is huge. Um, babe, I, Penny, we're doing. Hmm. We're doing. So, let's go ahead and go back here. So, now you're going to paper towels, season all over with salt and pepper. I should have waited to wash my hands, shouldn't I? Or can I get a... The little tongs for you? Yeah. Oops. Because you're going to have to flip it again when you're doing the coating, so. Oh, you're going to have to rub this hard too and stuff. You're probably going to have to wash your hands. But just flip it right now. And I did double line the cookie sheet just to make sure um, if there we add oil or anything on it that nothing, um, oh, see, you have to wash your hands. Yeah, I mean. Nothing soaks through to the cookie sheet because I don't like washing the cookie sheets because there's nowhere to really set them when you're done washing them. Okay. Now it says evenly brush tops of chicken with sour cream. So just the top of the chicken. Okay. Because it's just crusted so it's not like coated. So we just do it on the top. Okay. That's why you see them both sides. So I'm gonna actually rip this thing. So are you gonna use this? Yeah, you can just use that because you're gonna like take this and like. I'm just trying to split the sour cream onto the chicken at the moment. I mean, we have more sour cream in the... Um, I feel like I'm painting. Yeah, we have more sour cream if it's, like, needed. But... That looks, like, super, like, saturated, like, all the stuff on there. But we have a big clump right here, so it should be fine. You could take it to the other side too, it doesn't really matter. There's still a little bit in here. Those look like really good pieces of chicken. Yeah. They already trimmed it and everything. Yeah, so. which I appreciate. Next. I'm just gonna put this on this because there's just a little bit left. Yeah. Like these are hearty pieces. Like if you wanted to take that down and show them what I'm doing. One second. Kind of just painting the chicken. That one looks good. I'll take some more to the other one. Yeah, 
And you're probably wondering, Heidi, what is on the brush that's going onto the chicken? It's just that mixture. That because we use that this to mix that mixture together. Does that look good? Mm-hmm. And then it says I can read this off now, right? Just stick it in one of the Yeah, because it needs to soak to get all that off. Um to mound the panko mixture on top, pressing firmly to make sure that yeah, I'm just it gonna have to wash my hands again. adheres. So this is the panko mixture that we made. So you're just basically gonna split it and put it on top of the chicken. This is that bunch right there. I'll try to grab the same exact type handful. That is not anywhere close to the same. But we're going to kind of go with what we have right here and just spread it as much as we can just so we can kind of get an idea of what we're going to need on here next. And I don't want to do it too thinly because I kind of want it to be thick. Just make sure you coat the whole chicken first and then you can go back and yeah. add more. Thicken certain areas. That's basically what's happening at the moment. Goodbye. Out. But yeah, we're not going to make you guys sit here and wait till stuff gets out of the oven. Well, no, because we have nothing else to do. We Usually when there's stuff in the oven, we have other stuff to do, so. Yeah, but we'll just cut and then come back to you guys. So we're going to pop back over to this piece of chicken. Well, we still have to prepare the green beans first, and then we're going to cut. Yeah. And come back. Are we supposed to spray this? It should be fine because it's chicken. It should come up. If anything, I can always lift this for you to spray a little bit under it. Mm. If you wanted to. Some more over here because that's kind of a weak area. And then more right there. Where are you thinking? Just anywhere you feel, just split it between the two. So, you know, my fingers now look like I've been eating Cheetos for about 14 hours. Um, Can you get me um, more olive oil? Yeah. And spraying the side that we're going to put the green beans on. The last time we didn't spray it with vegetables on it, the vegetables sucked too. It says just put the green beans on, put a large drizzle of olive oil and salt and pepper and just kind of mix it. So I'm just going to put the green beans on the baking sheet. know down in the comment section below. I love green beans. I love food. <laughs> a fun fact about me is move Violet, get out of the kitchen. I was gonna get that. I know but I had to wash my hands. Is that I will eat almost anything. I am like a literal waste basket. to get more olive oil. 
Like, I, I am not going to say no to something, especially if I haven't tried it before. You could put it back. I just took the olive oil out. Oh. So this is the olive oil. I took it out of the pack since we're going to put it in our um, thing anyway. Our little, our little thing that we had it in. You know what I'm talking about. The thing, the one that looks like generic olive oil, but isn't. And I'm just going to put, like, back and forth on this, because that's what it looks like they did in the, like, on the pictures. Did you take wow. the thing off of it? No, it would help if I opened it correctly. It has a guard to where it won't spray or release the olive oil unless you take a little protective thing off just so it's safer in the casing so it's, you're not wasting product so we're gonna mix it so and then salt and pepper you have to pop that off with a knife oh thanks for telling me after I touch it. Do you want to see? I mean, you can't do it that way. I'll, do, I'll help you do it in a second, babe. Or you can do it by yourself. Well, I'll need your help eventually. Well, I told you I'll help you. But I'd help you do it in a second. I know. I was going to toss it with tongs, but I don't want to dirty our other pair of tongs. And the other one we used for the chicken, so... I just got a fork. And now we're going to go into the oven. And it says for 15 to 17 minutes, we'll probably use 17 just because the chicken is... Chicken is large. Yeah. Alexa. Set a timer for 17 minutes. 17 minutes, starting now. Sorry if I set off and Why Is your foot okay? Sorry if I set off anybody's Alexas. We'll see you guys in a second. Yeah. We'll be right back. Movie magic. Should I shut it off or should we check it first before I shut it off? Uh, check first. Hi guys, we're back. We're pulling the chicken stuff out. Um, we're hoping that our smoke alarm does not go off. It usually goes off whenever we do anything in this household. It looks good. That looks hella good. Okay. We gotta finish, um, the... We have to put this... Oh, let me shut that off. So we're gonna do... I read it already. So we're gonna put the... There it is! Motherfucker. It works. The people who didn't come check it earlier. They said they were gonna go come check it and they never came to check it. Okay. So now you guys know how we get that stop when it beeps. So it says to sprinkle the lemon zest. And you're gonna put more of this on after, so I'm only gonna do like part of it. Then it says to do the lemon too, which is gonna burn me, but it's okay. I'm doing it like that so the seeds don't fall on the um, on anything. FYI, honestly, if anyone's wondering, bro, that looks just like the fucking pictures. So I'm gonna wash my hands real quick and then we'll plate it. Give me two seconds. And literally all it says is split everything down the middle. Basically. Because we get the meals are designed for two. Yeah. It 
Is that your plate or my plate? Yours, I'm making yours for the sauté. Okay. I'm just gonna... Viva is waiting for her plate as well. Oh yeah, Viva, your plate's coming up. For sure. There's another little one. Definitely didn't see him. That's good. That's really good. I just push that to the side so that I can have room. And all that's basically just gonna go in the garbage, so that's great. Our couscous, which is still warm, even though we made that one first. And I got everything to come off the bottom when I put the butter in here, FYI. If anyone was worried about that. I think it looks the same. But did you show them the picture? You be the judge. Oh, hold on. Let me just... Maybe the angles. Oh, that's hot. Fudge. What'd you do? I touched it. It looks the same. We just need scallions on there. Yep. Okay. So, we're just gonna take the rest of the lemon zest and just and put a little bit on top of the couscous. Because it's good that way. I need the scallions for my side by side comparison. The put it on the lips. The couscous? I think it looks the same. Good job, us. My fingers are burning because of the way I was holding them. To the table. I gotta get my soda off the other table. Zoom in of her face. The last thing is just to put a little bit of lemon on top of everything. Well, like a little bit more lemon on top of the couscous and the green beans. It kind of went everywhere. I'm sorry. It's okay. Just watch out. I'm gonna grab the knife. I get a knife. You get a knife. Get the forks. Yama? That was like the least amount of food you used yeah. for in one of these. Alrighty. And we'll do the taste test for you guys as per usual. Just waiting for a thing. Oh yeah, I need to take a picture too. <clears throat> well, you're gonna have to turn it back around to do a taste test, so just cut and then we'll be back. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have you taste test, and then you can hold it, and I'll do my taste test. Can we just do it how we did last night? Well, you just had it facing you, and you set it in front. We'll be right back. We're back. I cut my piece of the chicken here. I'm gonna get it with a scallion on there, and we're gonna go ahead and try it. That's really good. Mm. I like the scallion. It adds like a little bit of freshness to it, to the bite. Okay. 
That's really good, too. That one's good. Let's try one of our green beans, which I already tried. It's so good. Another one. Another winner. Tell your mom four. Yeah. Four out of four. Alrighty, guys. So, if you enjoyed this video, um, honestly, that just, it looks beautiful. Um, go ahead and give this video a like. Go ahead and comment down below. Let us know what you want us to do next time. Um, and, um... If you are new to the channel, you enjoy our content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join the Zoom Nation, become a Zoomian, and go ahead and click the notification bell because we do daily uploads on this channel. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I want to eat this dinner. Say bye is currently right there. Also trying um, to eat this dinner. <laughs> also trying to eat this dinner. Um, Fat Doge over here as well. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we will see you guys next time. And as always... Much love and peace.